Hi, I'm Tori Mystic from Wear, Wag, Repeat, where I blog about fashion, DIYs, and recipes with my dog, Lucy. Today we're doing a really fun DIY that I'm super excited about. I've been wanting to make a raised dog bowl holder for Lucy for a while, but all the images I found on Pinterest were wooden, you needed to have a drill and a jigsaw and all this stuff, and I wanted to come up with a way to do it that didn't require any power tools at all. So the idea I came up with is a concrete dog bowl holder. So I've collected some different supplies to do this. First of all, I have um, these planters that I'm gonna use as molds. I needed a bigger one for the water dish and a smaller one for the food dish. I have my two bowls. I'm gonna use those to make an impression in the concrete once I get it in here. I have some quick drying concrete. You're gonna need water in order to make that. And then in order to keep the bowls in there and to get them out easily when it's done, I have some oil I'm gonna coat them with and I have these stones up here I'm gonna to use to weigh them down while they're in there so that everything stays nice and perfect and hopefully it all turns out well. Before you start working with concrete, make sure that you have a pair of gloves to wear for this project. You don't want that getting stuck on your hands. So I mixed up a whole bunch of concrete in this planter and I'm just finishing stirring it all up and now I'm gonna get ready to put in the food bowl. Make sure that everything is really mixed, really, really good, and then just smush it around a whole bunch to make it even. <laughs> That's my very scientific approach. Okay. Lucy is sitting right here staring at me. Is this project for you? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Then I put some rocks in these bowls because it's gonna hold them in place. But I'm gonna just put some oil on here. Now this project's going to take about 24 hours to dry, so delayed satisfaction. Ready? Now just smush it in there. Okay, here come the rocks to keep it weighed down. I'll throw in a few extras just to be sure. All right. And Smooth out my top a little bit. Well guys, it's not time to get started on the second one. I might have to go buy some more concrete. Every good project requires a mid-project Home Depot run. <laughs> Mission accomplished, got a 60 pound bag of concrete. Oh my gosh. But now I can go home and make the other bowl holder. All right, I'm back from my run for more concrete and I'm ready to do the second planter. This is the bigger one. It's gonna be for the water dish. So let's speed things up and I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, I've got both molds set with the bowls in them. They're at pretty level heights inside. Fingers crossed, guys. I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. We have to be patient and wait until tomorrow for it to dry, but I think it's gonna turn out really good. So somehow I managed to wait until the next day and they turned out so amazing. Check this out, guys. It's kinda heavy, so prepare yourself. But the bowls came out of the planters, the actual water and food bowls came out of the molds. I think they look so awesome. So what I wanna do to finish these off, the outside is nice and smooth, but I just wanna smooth off the top. So I have some fine grit sandpaper. You don't want it to be too rough. It's just like a, um, it was said fine on the package. And we fine around here, so I bought that. <laughs> I'm just gonna sand around the top and finish it off. And then I can't really complete any project without a little bit of spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint the very bottom part of this chrome and it's gonna match my kitchen and just be sort of a fun metallic accent. Okay, go ahead. I love how these turned out. Thank you so much for watching my DIY concrete dog bowl holder video. For more videos that are sure to make you and your dog very happy together, please check out my channel and subscribe so you don't miss anything from Wear Wag Repeat.